This is the sample that I'm going to show you guys how to flip. Pretty cool. I usually cut in bars. So I cut like this. But I only do this only if it's um if it's already uh on beat. If it's not on beat then I'll uh try to work around it and put it on beat. Uh if it's not on beat, you, this is what you can do. Uh you can grab one of these and you can pull the audio file so that it's on beat. So if I don't want it to hit on this one, I could just make it hit on this one. So it's a pretty cool. So I can stretch it out even more than. So it changes the beat and changes everything. So I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so now that they're chopped up, I'm gonna uh, put color on them so I know the order. It's pretty tedious uh, sampling. <laughs> Uh, or just color coding it. But it's way, way easier to uh, keep things in track. All right, so now that I have it all color coded, I'm going to duplicate it. And then, so the first, the first one, this one right here, this one's going to be my reference um, sample. Um, so I could just look at the colors, use it as a reference and I'm going to turn that off. Uh, so this one's only plain. All right. So now I have two sets. I'm going to close this one. Uh, so now I have a set and now I'm just going to rearrange the sample. So I'll put this one in the beginning and this say, so yeah, I'm just going to mix and match them. All right, so this is the new rearranged sample. Yeah, and that's a really cool way to sample it. And then if you click shift and then the end of the sample and you're still holding shift and you double you double click it and you're still holding shift you can transpose everything all at once so you don't have to go one by one and you know that you're getting all of them if you see this um it's kind of like a striped thing and then if you don't have everything selected um it won't do that oh yeah look so I got seven clips selected and then I'll get eight. And then, so what you can do is that I usually put it on complex. Complex is what I use the most. I don't really use uh, anything else besides probably beats and texture. So I'm gonna transpose it down to three. Yeah, and then um, a lot of people don't know this is that you can duplicate the audio within itself. Uh, so let me see. If I want this to repeat, I can just do that and it'll repeat twice. All right, so let's see. All right, very abrupt. So if I do it for longer, it's going to cover this side. So I could do this one. Do that little piece. So this one is the original beat, the original sample. And 
this is the chopped up, uh, resampled version, I guess. Yeah, so as you can see, like, um, the the beginnings are the same, but that's probably it. Everything's rearranged. So this, this part is the end, and the green's right here, this green's right here, this green's right there, this orange is over here. It's not the second part. And then the brown, <laughs> this one is not even in this, uh, the new chopped up one. But yeah, if you color code it, and you cut it into bars or even not even whole bars you can just literally just do this little bit and then cut it and it's like half of that and then you can do half of that and you could just really break it down it you can literally flip a sample endlessly because it just has different little parts I mean, I don't know how this is going to sound, but let's see. So, I mean, if you, you can literally chop anything and you can just put it in order as long as it's. So if you if you sample anything and it's in beat, it's on beat, uh, you can literally just go crazy with it and rearrange it to anything. Uh, you literally just saw me just flip this right now. <laughs> but yeah, motherfucker.